The transitional government in Juba says it will bring the killers of the aid workers to justice and vowed that aid agencies will be able to do their work freely across the country. On behalf of the government, we have undertaken to expeditiously set up a mechanism that will investigate the matter and address it so that uh, humanitarian workers are not frightened from doing their work. It's not the first time the government has made that promise and the international community is getting impatient. Both the UN and AU say they are concerned by the high level of attacks against aid workers and they have also expressed frustration over a move by the transitional government to increase fees and taxes on humanitarian work in the country. We've made a strong appeal through the minister to government to suspend the application of the higher fees and taxes where humanitarians are concerned for the period of the, uh, uh, the emergency that indeed uh, we are dealing with. It. The recent attack on aid workers came just weeks after the UN declared famine in the country. At least 5 million people across South Sudan are experiencing high levels of food shortages. They are dependent on aid for survival and more than 100,000 others are already facing famine in parts of South Sudan which are inaccessible to aid workers. The international community is now urging the government to end the violence by engaging all actors in South Sudan in the national dialogue and to provide greater security for aid workers so they can do their best to save lives and provide for those in need. Patrick Oyet. CGTN Juba, South Sudan.